Hey guys, welcome to Drop Time, the self-proclaimed number one podcast that covers the latest sneaky releases. We're your hosts with the most. This is Jamal. This is Luis. Make sure to check us out on Twitter at Drop Time underscore and also on Instagram at underscore Drop Time. Today is February 15th. Get ready because we have yet another week. I can't, I, I'm honestly, Luis, I'm amazed the amount of shoes that I've never seen Nike release this many shoes this consistently. I honestly... Uh, we we don't give any advice. We don't give resale advice. We don't give investment advice. We give nothing. This is just us talking. Don't take anything by word. Nothing like that. But honestly, I wouldn't be surprised after uh, some earnings reports from Nike after their Q1 that their stock goes crazy because just the amount of the sheer amount of shoes that they're releasing, and it's not just it's not just basic shoes. These are shoes that are reselling. They're selling out instantly. They're selling out everywhere. They're reselling for high amounts. I, I can't believe the amount of stuff that they're able to release consistently. No, yeah, stuff is it's kind of different right now, man. It's definitely different. Yeah, yeah, it's as different as putting a Honda engine, a Honda Civic engine, in a in a 911. That's what it's different like. Yeah, we're we're not gonna talk about that, Jamal. That's that's a separate conversation for a separate podcast. <laughs> yeah, I, well, well, you guys may never understand that joke, but. If you ask us about it, maybe we'll tell you in the next podcast. But anyways, let's give you a quick rundown of what we will see coming up this week. So we did start this a day late. So we are covering what happened on the 15th on Monday today in our recap. But for the week of the 16th through the 20th, we are not going to see anything on Tuesday, the 16th. And then on Wednesday is when things start to go crazy. Uh, we will see the Air Jordan 4 Golf White Cements drop in EU. And we will also see the Air Jordan 1 High Zoom PSGs drop. And then the last thing on Wednesday the 17th, we'll see is the Ambush by Nike Dunk High Cosmic Fuchsia. And to follow on Thursday the 18th, we will see the Nike Dunk Low Hyper Cobalt, Nike Dunk Low Medium Gray, the Women's Nike Dunk Low Coast, and the Nike Dunk High Vast Gray. And then still on Thursday the 18th, we will see the... the is it Stussy, Stussy? What do you want to call it, Luis? What are we calling it today? Um, I got Stussy about that. All right, Stussy, the Stussy by Nike, Hirachi Desert Oak and Dark Olive colorways. We will also see the Undercover by Nike Overbreak Overcast and Black colorway. And then guess what's back? Supreme Week. Supreme Week One is back. We are finally going to see Supreme drop again. And don't worry. Luis got some crazy stuff happening in Supreme Week to talk to you guys about. But then on Friday the 19th, we will see the women's Air Jordan 1 Silver Toe. Also see the women's Nike Air Max 90 Valentine's Day that got delayed, so we'll see it drop on the 19th. We also see the women's Nike Dunk Low Orange Pearl. We're not done yet. We're still going. We also see the Nike Dunk Low Medium Gray drop in EU. And then finally, to finish off the week on Saturday, we will see the Air Jordan 3 Cool Grays. We will see the third collection of the Ivy Park Adidas pack uh i don't know what you want to call it pack collection whatever you want to call it but this is the icy park this is for their winter collection and then finally to end the week we will see the nike overbreak in the fossil colorway yeah that's a lot of stuff and don't worry because our recap has just about if not more stuff than that so may as well get into it uh what did we see coming out last what did we see drop last week Luis? what was the first few things we saw well, we saw a lot of things, Jamal. In fact, we saw way too many things released Honestly, last week. too much. Wait, wait. Like, I, I, I'm like I'm saying, I don't know how they do it. This is too much. I've never seen Nike release this much stuff over and over and over every single week. No, yeah, it's it's getting to these to to the point where we we really don't have time to play golf no more, man. And it's really just affected my mood. No, golf is uh, not on like the back burner. There's no burner for it to go on. There's just just it's just out there now exactly but anyways so on sunday 7th we had nothing released which is quite a relief you know compared to many of the other days on monday we had the off-white air jordan and Pearl collection release on shopify nike and other nike uh retailers um a lot of people were interested in the jacket jacket what jacket yeah or like a sweater what was it there was a hoodie there was a t-shirt the and there was pants it was the hoodie. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, the hoodie, I think, was like the number one item. I, yeah. Yeah, because we got numerous DMs of people asking us, where's the hoodie dropping? Where is it dropping? And it's like, dude, you listen to the podcast, you know that we stopped answering DMs of questions of where is it, when is it going to drop? Well, then why are you looking at the DMs? 
I look at him. Wait, maybe there's an important DM in there. You know, it's like, yo, oh, like, yeah. I'm gonna send Jamal a box of chocolates or something like that. You know, something like but, that. Yeah. yeah. So the hoodie was the hottest item right there. Um, I have no idea what it's reselling for. Actually, I don't think it's going for much. The retail was so high; it was three hundred fifty dollars for a freaking hoodie. All right. <sighs> That's ridiculous, man. Off I think, I think resale is like retail. It's pretty much the same. There's no resale on it. Well, I guess people who wanted it can just buy it yeah, for retail. Exactly. Yeah, so Monday was a pretty chill day. Tuesday, I don't know, man. Tuesday was just like speaking to me. It's like, relax. So we had nothing on Tuesday. And on Wednesdays, when things started to pick back up again. So on Wednesday, we had the Air Jordan 185 neutral uh, gray color wave. This uh, shoe came out on Foot Locker in store only. Uh, it also came out on Kith and other uh, retailers with the uh, Nike accounts. Retail was two hundred dollars. Approximate resale, four hundred and fifty through six hundred dollars. So, pretty nice, hefty profit right there if you got them. And we also had the Trophy Room Air Jordan One High Classic Chicago. So this release was weird. It was terrible. You know? This is yeah, the worst it, release it, I've it, ever seen. It was terrible because we saw a lot of pairs being back door. So. When this release happened, um, Trophy Room released a um, like a form to fill out, and that form was being like it, was it wouldn't load. Yeah, it wouldn't load because it was crashing. So then they're like email. So then their email inbox got full, and they're like, <laughs> "Oh yeah, let's do the form again." And then the form is still crashing. <laughs> and then nobody won. Oh yeah, did you? Uh, honestly, I have not seen one person win the raffle. Have you seen? One? I'm just like I'm seriously talking about just one single person. Have you seen one person? No, there's nobody that won, and you know why nobody won? It's because they were all backdoored. Yeah, they just did the raffle, so it made it like they can just claim. Oh yeah, we chose winners from the raffle. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting seeing how Trophy Room handles releases from now on because we saw they've been very loud on the timeline, timeline back back during Paris to resellers. Well, that's so, what I mean. Marcus is there for the resellers. That's all he's there for. That's how it was for the Jordan yeah. Fives. But at least for the Jordan Fives, at least they put stock online. They gave people a chance in store. Like there was opportunities for other people that didn't know him personally to get a pair but this one you straight up had to know the guy personally to get anything not re i was getting these trophy rooms at a thousand five hundred that would have been worth it because they're going for uh three thousand to forty five hundred dollars yeah i was getting them for a thousand five hundred but i mean i guess the expectation of if they actually had a release then they probably would have gone for around fifteen hundred but since yeah. there was straight up no release, the resellers actually get to control the market. And it's not it's not the resellers that are using the parents' credit cards that have to flip them quick. These are actually like the legit resellers. It's the guys spending like a million dollars on stuff. Yeah. It's 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 the real deal, dude. It's not the guys who just I'm gonna run a ball on Saturday with fifteen proxies and see what I'm gonna hit. You know, it's not those dudes. It's the real ones. You know, like Jamal and I. I'm just playing. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm on the level of buying a million dollars of shoes, but yeah, something like that. But yeah, so Wednesday, pretty solid Wednesday. You know, it's a really good st uh, starter day, I guess you can say, for the crazy week that we had. Thursday, insane. What happened on Thursday, Jamal? So on Thursday, first thing we saw is the Nike Air Force One Low Silver Snakes. So this wasn't that crazy of a release. Uh, retail 130, resale sitting about 140 to 170. Not the hardest thing in the world to get. They still weren't easy. Uh, but I mean, it's a decent colorway for Air Force, but yeah, nothing too hype, nothing too crazy. Uh, but we did see the Clot Air Jordan 14 Terracotta colorway drop. So this was the wide release of them. Uh, retail 200, resale sitting 260 to 350. So I, uh, I pretty much this is kind of what I was thinking resale would be. At the end of the day, it's a Jordan 14. I mean, do you like Jordan 14s, Luis? No. Yeah, so that's uh, it's not the best model, but it's Clot. So, you know, there's still going to be resale. Um, but we also saw a uh, very, very into like this, this colorway, I think is on the top of people's list to try to get for dunks. So we guess all the women's Nike dunk low orange pearl. So retail 100 resale right now sitting at 250, A few more stores will release them later on this week, but this was a nearly, uh, in my opinion, 
uh, extremely, extremely hard release to try to get. Uh, hardly anybody released them. The people that released them, you know, it's not the best sites to try to go manual on, but there's still chances. And then again, you'll get some more chances later on in the week. Uh, the other shoe, it was a, it was definitely Thursday was a day of dunks. We also saw Nike Dunk Low Hyper Cobalt. This is an interesting colorway. They seem that seems to be one of the colors of the year that Nike is going to be losing on a lot of Jordans, a lot of uh, Dunks, a lot of other shoes is Cobalt. Uh, retail on these was 110. Resale right now sitting 200 to 300. And then again. Uh, I believe it's, I think I said later on this week. Yeah, 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 later on this week, we will get another chance to go after those. Some more re retailers will be releasing them. Uh, but we also saw women's Nike Dunk High Team Red. It's a high. It's a women's sizing. Not the best combo. But at the end of the day, people want dunks. They want dunks just as much as they want Jordan 1s, honestly. So retail 120. Resale right now is in 172.50. This was just in Europe. Uh, expect at some point a wider release of these. I'm not sure when that'll ever come. What's very, what's been very annoying to me lately, Luis, is uh, Nike. They've been delaying stuff like last, like la actual last second. There's been so many releases that they have the date set, and I'm talking the night before the release. They delay it by a week. It's ridiculous. I don't you know, bro. Like, I mean, I understand logistical issues still, but. At what point are you going to understand when you can actually do releases? You know, bro, at the end of the day, it is what it is, man. Yeah, there's not much we can do about it. We're not we're not uh, we're not Nike execs to make those decisions. But uh, we we what we do know is that some retailers outside of the United States, they don't really pay attention. No, to... it's not even them. No, I'm talking about actual Nike, like on Nike's website. Like on sneakers, they will have a shoe set to release, and then the day before they're changing the, the date. Maybe they just do a coin flip. They're like, nah. <laughs> That's very possible, honestly. At this point, with the amount of stuff that they've delayed, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a coin flip because you can't have the, your dates off this bad. I mean, this many times. I understand one time, but you're talking like every single week they're delaying something. But hey, maybe they're just their optimism maybe is way too high for when they get shipments who knows yeah but what else did we see there's a few more things still on thursday what were the other drops on thursday we saw louise so we also saw the woman to air jordan on high silver toe this is also on sneakers eu retail 170 current resale to 30 300 dollars so if it won't one thing we always talk about every single podcast i feel like we've been repeating ourselves for 30 podcast episodes <laughs> use a reshipper you know yes Use a reshipper like these. These they didn't release in the United States on the same day, so you could use the reshipper and got them. So that's that right there. Did you did you go for these Jamal? No, but I'm waiting waiting for the US the US release to come this week, so I'm just gonna wait for that. Mm, okay, okay, I see you, I see you. But yeah, we also had the Nike Dunk High All Star 2021 release. Also on Sneakers EU. No, Sneakers so, actually did not end up dropping. So this was a weird didn't. release. This is one of those ones that, again, they delayed. And then they don't even have a set release date for these. I have no idea if they're ever going to come out. So a few retailers actually dropped them. I think it ended up being Foot Asylum, which is in uh, United Kingdom. And JD in Europe. Uh, I can't remember. It's been a f There's been way too many releases in between. But... I know for sure Foot Asylum, JD might have dropped these if I remember. Probably somebody can probably tell us if they saw us tweet out for JD about these. But yeah, these were uh, essentially nearly impossible to get because nobody really released them so far. Well, you know what wasn't impossible to get? So on Friday, we had the Nike Air War Chase Dusty Desert Oak release on DSM and on Stussy. Uh, retail 120, can resell 194.50. It's a really big difference right there in the prices of the different sizes. Um, and we also had the Nike Air Duarte, Stussy, Stussy, Dark Olive release also on DSM and Stussy. Retail, same thing, 120, resale 180 to 350. So slight difference in resale price compared to the Desert Oak. So what we can conclude from like this comparison right here, we, that the Desert Oak, Oak, I can't even say that correctly, the Desert Oak, <laughs> Is it has more of a falling, I guess you can say the colorway. It's more hotter, you know? Man, that's what do, uh, what do you... that analysis was deep, man. That was a very deep analysis right there. Dude, I've been watching uh television, I've been watching this uh 
this um, um channel man where they just go in about stuff and they anal- analyze stuff and i don't know i don't know what i'm talking about i'm just playing but <laughs> did he go after any of these jamal uh yeah no i did not i didn't i was not expecting i mean yeah like you said there's a very big difference between sizes there's like there's some big sizes that are going for that 450 and people are actually paying for that majority of sizes i think are going for around 200. i honestly was not expecting that high of resale i was expecting more around like 150 which i there was other stuff to buy i was honestly that whole week i was just waiting for the car mines so i wasn't really caring to try to make 30 bucks on this shoe but i guess i shouldn't have listened to myself and i should have gone for them because some nice profit on these actually but there's another chance uh they're gonna have a wider release later on this week so we still have a chance to get them yeah, yeah. i'm happy there's another release man because i want to get multiple of these well did you go for hot. them have you started going for releases again yet or are you still waiting stuff stuff is coming in bro and that's all i can say i'm not at liberty right. to talk about it any more than that <laughs> got some secret information or something shh shh you know, I've been talking about my back doors, bro, on all the other podcasts. On oh, my back doors. Oh, were you part of the trophy room? Woo! Were you a Woo! part of that situation? I don't know, man. Where did I get that 1500 price from? I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, <laughs> that's a good point. Where did you get that price from? How would you I don't know, know what the price was for the back door pairs? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but um, Actually, that- if you think about it, not to go back to that subject, but, if you, but do you think trophy room themselves are selling them at that like fifteen hundred dollar price i don't think so i think somebody else is brokering it for them so do you think they're getting higher than retail obviously yeah okay so man 20 20 000 pairs even if this man gets an extra hundred on top of retail whew, making a lot of extra money like definitely a lot of extra money even because there was twenty thousand pairs they were numbered there's twenty thousand of them and no yeah it was like uh because uh nike did the exclusive access but there was like a few hundred pairs so i would say he himself got i, I would say at least himself got fifteen thousand pairs at least so minimum yeah so if he's even getting a hundred dollars above on each oh my gosh that's a lot of extra money yeah, definitely, definitely, he's he's doing some stuff, and he's making some moves. It's interesting but, that know, Nike allows it, though. I don't understand how Nike allows it. It's, uh, I don't know. He's just like he's he's like he got special privileges just for being Jordan's son. Extra special privilege, privileges. Yeah, he's an interesting guy. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, well, you know what's, what else is interesting, Jamal? On Saturday at thirteenth, we also had the Nike Air Max ninety Valentine's Day come out on sneakers US. Uh, retail 150 approximate resale right now 190 to 250 we also have the nike air force one low 07 valentine's day released on sneakers us retail 130 resale 200 to 500 dollars that's pretty crazy right there and you know what's the craziest thing that we talked about this on the last podcast even if you bought these on the 13th you couldn't have received them to give them to your special other on the 14th you know do you know there's actually somebody uh that we both know that was uh that was his concern he was asking me how can he get these he was trying to get them because and then he asked me is it worth paying resell it and he sent me a screenshot and the resale is like 400 dollars. and he's like is it worth it i'm like well i think the price is about to go down after the release actually happens for the u.s oh i think and, i know what you're talking about and he said and he's like yeah but i'm trying to get them by valentine's day i'm like oh uh that's up to you if you try to pay that that much extra for them i don't know what he ended up doing though he didn't say anything but i don't know man that's that a good point why why would you drop a shoe like why didn't they drop them on the 11th or 12th so then they can ship yeah. them by valentine's yeah like what if i was trying to buy them for my imaginary girlfriend you know exactly what if jamal was gonna get him gifted to him oh no that, to buy his girl happen. I, well, yeah. actually, maybe, um, maybe, maybe we still waiting because they didn't come in yet. So maybe I'll get them gifted. I don't know. Maybe. What if I'm getting them gifted? I don't know. What if yeah. they did I don't know what's going on no more, man. Like these we're gonna have to do... wait. We're gonna have to wait till like Wednesday or Thursday to find out. Wednesday or Thursday. That's gonna be interesting, man. Yeah. Very, very, <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> don't put your hopes up, though. I don't want to yeah. disappoint you. I know. I'm not getting anything, man. <laughs> You never know. You never know. 
maybe that Impressive. person we're talking about, maybe he was getting you the shoes. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. You don't want that kind of gift? I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm All right, good. but we still had stuff on Saturday. We also saw the women's Nike Dunk disrupt Copa. Uh, this was a Europe drop, so congrats to anybody that was out in Europe. Actually, no, there was definitely there was chances for people in the U.S. Uh, Offspring dropped them. They shipped to the U.S. There was a number of other uh, retailers that shipped to the U.S., so there was definitely a chance. Uh, there's I honestly have not much to say about it because, as usual, nobody posted success, so I don't even know if anybody cops. But the finale of, well, I guess not the finale. Well, the finale of last week, we can go into a bit of what dropped this week, but the finale of last week, what everybody was waiting for was the Air Jordan 6 Carmines. This is what I was waiting for all week. I don't know about you, Luis, but this honestly is what I was waiting for all week. No, yeah, dude, I was definitely waiting for them. Why? Because we knew resale was going to be wild on these, man. And, and resale, resale did is... not disappoint. Exactly. The market lived up to the hype. You know, the hype is ripe. The hype is real. Drop time is always right. I don't know where now. We might be wrong sometimes. Who knows, you know? But what we do know is that the prices on these are crazy, man. Some um, uh, resale uh, stores, consignment stores are selling them for way more than this. I'll tell you that right now, man. And they're moving, bro. Oh, for real? Okay, moving. so yeah. prices before the drop were, if I remember correctly, prices before were sitting about like 250 and under on pretty much every single size. Right now, prices are sitting 275 to 350. So these jumped way, way up in price. Dude, okay, I, I, I know... didn't see that they were the hardest thing to get. I don't know about you. I don't know if you were following the drop. I didn't see that they were the hardest shoe to get. I guess, I mean, they must have been somewhat hard because the prices shot up like crazy. They they weren't hard to get. I had a friend. He got like I think how many like thirty five or forty pairs. Ooh, and um he he's dude. So we've talked about a couple of resale stores. I'm not gonna say which one, but one of them that I know personally is selling them for three fifty a pop. I know who you're talking about. We're not about to plug him. He, 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 he doesn't deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> that man, hey, that man doesn't deserve it at all. <laughs> Hey, I'm boys with him, bro. Yeah, you, just be be boys, with you be boys all you want. We're not plugging him, though. <laughs> Bad. Hey, 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 hey. No, no but yeah. Agreed. You said we're not about to say the name. So you agreeing, obviously. I said A, 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 A. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's what you get to. That's the place that's known as A, 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 A. That's all they're known as. But yeah, they're going for 350 all day at A, 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 Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that was it for uh, Saturday. It was a pretty solid Saturday. The best day of the week, you know, Sunday. It was chill Sunday. I-, I hope everybody had a really good Valentine's Day. I know I did. It was pretty chill. It's I know good. Jamal. What'd you, what'd you do, Jamal, on, su- on Sunday? Uh, I went over to my friend's house. We watched some basketball games. That's about it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we were... Uh... Oh uh, no, I can't. I can't give any more information. I'll give away where I'm located. So I'll just. That's okay, that. bro. Yeah. We're all in LA, regardless. Yeah, yeah, we're all in LA. There was, yeah, yeah, we're in LA. <laughs> <laughs> but Except we're both not in LA right now. But soon we'll be both in LA. <laughs> yeah, we that that's 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 one thing, Jamal. I kind of want to do like a live broadcast. Like go live on Twitter once we're in LA. Okay. Or on or on yeah, Instagram. So I don't know. We're about to show our face. No, no, we're not gonna show our faces. No, no, we're we're if we show our faces, dude, I'm like 100 percent certain we're gonna get signed like to a modeling agency, like no cap, <laughs> you know. I have no comment on that. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna leave that to your comment. <laughs> no, the, um, so the other day, um, I was on Instagram and, I, and we only follow one person on Instagram. Okay. Um, yeah, so. She went live on Instagram, uh, Alexandra. We, we plugged her last week too. She went live, and I like it got a, I got an idea. Like, why don't we go live sometimes when we're at like certain events? If we do go to like an event, you know? Oh, for sure. Like, we to can do that. to, to kind of show what it is to be like um uh like a reseller in real life because we we do talk about the whole like online hustle of it too, but there's a whole like ecosystem behind reselling in person you know which a lot of people have forgotten but the thing is another thing i also kind of took into consideration is that with the whole um i guess the pandemic going on right now there's a lot of um things we can't do you know 
Yeah, we'll probably have to so, wait until like next year and then we can do something like that. Yeah, maybe we can live because I, I have some friends who own who own a uh, a cook group, really big cook group. We're not gonna talk about who it is. They yeah. flew. You know what I'm talking about, right? Probably. They had an event outside of In and Out, and they got shut down. Oh, for real? That's oh yeah. yeah. I know what you're talking about wait. Yeah. Since when do you know the? Oh, oh, I guess you do know the owner. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude, I'm boys people with the owner. People, bro. Might, people might figure out what group that is, but we'll probably not. That was so if, long ago, actually. Wasn't that like a few years ago? No, it wasn't a few years ago. It was it was last year. We must be it thinking last... a different. I must be thinking about a different one though. No, it's our. It's our. That was a few years ago. It's our friend. I'm gonna bleep this out. It's our friend. With... Yeah, wasn't that a few years ago? No, it wasn't. It was a year and a half ago, like a year ago. You better remember bleep that out. That's. <laughs> I'm bleeping it out. I'm bleeping it out. Well, I have an idea. We can go up to your uh, your friend's res- your friend's consignment shop. <laughs> I don't. I... We can stream there. <laughs> <laughs> no, that man never getting any promotion. Forget that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god but yeah, yeah, but, Sunday, yeah but we can we can do something like that uh, of course we have to wait until the this pandemic has uh, blown over and it's not an issue anymore but yeah, yeah at some point we can probably do something like that yeah or we can do like an event where we invite people you know and just we do our uh, own event yeah we do our own event and drop time budget going up huh bro drop time only flies pr- uh private bro that's yeah it. private as in we don't fly yeah, we just buy like diecast models of airplanes, and we're just like, yeah, we're yeah. flying. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but yeah, so Sunday was pretty solid, you know, relaxing Sunday. I hope everybody had a really good time with their family and friends and special others, you know. I hope that everybody stays safe, you know. We're in troubling times right now, but stay positive, you know. Good vibes all around. That's something we emphasize every single episode. Positivity and good vibes, you know. Exactly. But to, so we're going to go into a bit of this. We're going to go into what dropped today since this is being recorded today. May as well cover what happened today since it was a, a bit of a rare situation where we had a decent amount of drops on a Monday. But on Monday the 15th, what we saw was the women's Air Jordan 1 mid Desert Rust drop in Europe. So these dropped on Nike uh, and a few other places. Not too many places. Uh, this is kind of just like randomly dropping. Like they've dropped like in... I think a few Canadian retailers dropped them at some point. Europe now dropping them at a few. It's kind of just like scattered all over the place. But we saw their low variant. We saw the women's Air Jordan 1 low desert rust also drop essentially at the same places. It was a few different retailers, but pretty much the same places. But we're not done though. Europe still had another drop. They had the Air Jordan 4 Gulf white cement. They dropped on Nike EU. Uh, these actually ended up doing way better than I expected. Retail is 220. Resale right now is sitting at 280 to 5, all the way up to 500. dollars There's some pairs going for 500 dollars on a shoe that somewhat sat. Like you could have, you honestly, I don't see why anybody wasn't able to cop a pair of these, and they could have flipped them for big money. So I hope you guys did not sleep if you're out in Europe. I hope you didn't sleep on this one because this was a good one. But you'll still have another chance later on in the week. We'll go through uh, when you're able to cop them. There's a few more retailers releasing them but what was the final thing we saw on monday Luis? before we go into what's coming up so on monday we saw the nike air, air griffey max one freshwater what's up um released on sneakers foot tight tibet shop nice kicks finish line kit and packers among many many other retailers so these shoes retails for 170 current resale is approximately 215 to 340 that's 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 nice you know that's, and what's that's even a, you know what's even better what we had them covered on finish line with 15 dollars off we're talking about a brand new release just dropped and you're able to get them under retail that's ridiculous yes drop time where it's at man you know these kind of remind me of the shack gnosis from uh reebok what what remind yeah. the shoe or like the design of the shoe the shoe and the colorway okay yeah i could see that yeah. You remember the Shaq Gnosis? Yeah, 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 I remember those. Who doesn't? Dude, those are Whoa. clean, bro. There's probably those some people clean. don't. Those are clean, bro. I, I remember I had some like polka dotted, white polka dotted socks. Oh, you actually had a pair of them? Yeah, I did, bro. Oh, I never had a pair of them. Oh, I, I got them at, on special. Nice. Yeah, I got them on special. I got them on clearance. Very nice. So, yeah, and I, I'd wear these. Uh, you remember those socks that, that uh, released 
What are they called? They're super popular for a while. Uh, they, they're with an S. Stance. Stance. Oh, stance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I had, like, during that period, I had a whole bunch of different stance socks, dude. Nice. And I would like, like I had like uh, hot dogs, sand socks, and I had like happy faces, and I had oh, one with back when like yeah, that was back when like all the pattern socks were in. Yeah, dude. So I'd wear like pattern socks with my uh, Shack noses. That's a good combo. Yeah, and dude. I, then dude. you were probably flexing on everybody back then. Best believe, bro. And I stay flexing, dude. Oh yeah, still, still today. You uh, the people adapted to your style, not you adapted to their style. I, Jamal, I love how you explain that, man. That's that's so like clear, dude. <laughs> there we go. Uh, but that's all we saw drop on. Oh wait, did we see the re- we said the resale price on those? Yeah, two fifteen okay. three four and eight. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So the, honestly, the, the the resale price actually held up extremely, extremely well. Uh, I had a feeling they were gonna drop. I thought they were gonna drop after. I didn't think these were this hyped of a shoe, but hey. I guess uh, I guess on this one I was wrong. These actually were very hyped. I hope you guys were able to cop them. It was not a hard cop. Uh, definitely hope you guys cop them on finish line for under retail. Make some extra money if you're trying to resell them, or you get them cheaper for yourself. But that's all we saw drop the last week. Yeah, I don't know if all. I mean, that's a very a very poor word to use because it was way too much. But there's still way too much dropping this week. But it's a good thing. It gives you guys a lot of chances to get all the shoes and make some make some nice money or keep some good personals. Uh, but for the week of the 16th to the 20th, we see nothing on Tuesday, tomorrow, the 16th, I believe. Maybe we see something. Uh, for, for, uh, we'll update you on Twitter, but for now, there's nothing on the 16th. And then what, what are we kicking off the week on Wednesday, the 17th with, with Luis? So on the 17th, we have the Air Jordan 4 Golf in the white cement colorway. This is going to drop on sneakers, EU, Soulbox, and other EU retailers. Uh, resale to $20, approximate resale to $80 to $500. This is going to be a hot release. We've seen a really big trend in uh, golf shoes just going up in price. And, dude, they look super cool when you wear them, when you go golfing. Yeah, I, don't know actually do not bad. I think these are a pretty good one. Do you go golfing, Jamal? Um... I've been like to the driving. I've been to the driving range, maybe three times in my life, four times. That's about it. I've never actually been on a course. Yeah, that explains a lot. I don't know how to take that. <laughs> I don't know how many. Uh, I don't know how to comment on that one. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it to your interpretation. I'm not sure what you meant by that. <laughs> So yeah, so on Wednesday, we're going to have the Air Journal 1 High Zoom PSG release on sneakers, foot tight, tibet, shop nice kicks, and other retailers. Retail is 140, approximate resale 255 to 320. So this is a really nice shoe. It is. I don't know. This is, a, this is one of the best colorways of the Zooms I've seen. It's, yeah, it's PSG. You know, we all love, I don't know how you say it. How do you pronounce it? Paris Saint Germain. Oh, I thought it had like a, like a different oh. pronunciation. Here. It's Paris Saint Germain. That's it. I thought it was like Paris or something like that. I mean, if you want to say it like that, by all means, I'm not French. Yeah, I don't know French either. I don't either. But <laughs> if you guys really want to, if anybody doubts this colorway, go look at the Jordan Four PSGs, and and then you can you can figure out yourself if you should doubt this one or not. That's all I'll say. I'll let you guys do that research. It's fire. It is. It's a very nice one. So that's 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 not it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we also have the Am- we also have the ambush Nike Dunk High Cosmic Fuchsia. It's gonna release on sneakers EU. There might be other releases elsewhere, so be alert to the other alerts. You know what I'm saying? Um. So retail 180, approximate resale 255 to 320. It's going to be a chill release, man. I'm just saying, no, it's not going to be chill. You have to be active, active, set notifications on, you know? That's something that's key. We've said this every single podcast. We've probably said it over 200 times. Notifications, notifications, notifications. If you really want something that's releasing, set notifications. Because sometimes there'll be discounts just like we had discounts today for that, uh, for what was it? The Shack Gnosis uh, looking thing? No, the yeah, Gryphys. yeah, yeah. The Shack Gnosis. <laughs> the Griffies, you know, it was fi- it's like fifteen dollars off or something like that. Yeah, $15. so 
yeah so there'll be releases for deals once in a while like if we think it's a really good deal we'll post it and there's really like there's like releases like oh these sit stuff sits sometimes and even we're amazed and people sometimes they don't check out they comment late you know that's something we like kind of complain about every single podcast you know it's kind of like a running theme people being late and leaving comments like late and sold out like who does that really help dude like by you well, leaving that comment that says sold out maybe their intention is actually to say that they're late I guess that's one way we can take it. That's how I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it like that now. When they comment late, they're saying I was late. <laughs> that's what I'm going with. All right. That's that's one way. And, and you know, on that one, you know, what's not late, Jamal, is us covering Thursday's release, man. We're really early, man. What's coming out on Thursday, Jamal? So on Thursday, the 18th, we are going to see it's going to be a like a busy cannot explain this it's going to be a uh, i'm still gonna use that word busy it's gonna be a busy day so we're gonna see a lot of dunks drop we're gonna see the nike dunk low hyper cobalt so this is gonna be the drop for the u.s retail 100 resell 160 to 220 we will also see the nike dunk low medium gray resell retail 110 resell 172 30 we will also see the women's Nike Dunk Low Coast resell retail 100 resell 275 to 350. So out of those, oh no, sorry, there's still one more. We also see the Nike Dunk High Vast Gray retail 120 resell 170 to 250. So out of all of those, the medium grays and the coast are, if you're trying to resell, trying to make some nice profit, are the best to go for. And then you'll get the Nike, you'll get the the Hyper Cobalt, and you got the Vast Grays coming in second, but. Hey, at the end of the day, all of them got some nice resell. They're dunks. They're good colorways. Just go for them. I just, there's no question about it. Just go for it. Just go for it. Do whatever you can to get a pair. That's all that matters. You want to make sure that these are, these are the shoes you go for. We already saw how it went in, in Europe. It was not easy to get. They were very hard to get. Don't expect it to be any easier in the US. So make sure that you are staying locked into those. But that's honestly half of the drops that we're seeing on Thursday. What are the other half of the drops we're going to see on Thursday, Luis? So we're also going to see a wider release of the Stussy Nike Warache Desert Oak. It's going to release at Nike top uh, tier retailers. So be on the lookout for that. Retail 120, approximate retail 170, 220. We're also going to see a re-release of the Stussy Nike Warache MV Dark Olive Colorway. Like I said, worldwide release, top tier Nike accounts. Stay locked into drop time, you know, that way you make sure you get something. We're also going to see the undercover Nike over, overbreak in the overcast colorway. This is going to be exclusive right now to the EU and Asia. Just for now, we might see a, a worldwide release. So be on the lookout for that. So it's going to release in the overcast colorway and the black colorway. So approximately resell to $2,300. So one thing, though, that I, I know everybody's super hyped for this. Supreme Thursdays is coming back. Supreme week one. You got added insane. some like like horns or something into this during the podcast. Some like background sound effects. Okay, I'll do it right now. Announce, when you announce Supreme Week one, it's like, yeah, stuff like that. All right, that's that's the only special effect we're throwing in there. You All know, right. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, so week one is gonna be crazy. We're gonna kick it off with the Cause Chalk logo, with which it's it's it's. I'm disappointed. At it, I'm disappointed. Yeah. It's I, it's not I, I like know. cause. I don't see any X's on here. It's not. What is this? Like, th I mean, come on, like Supreme, you gonna come back? You're gonna hit us hard week one with us with a bogo, and this is a bogo. Are you serious? I mean, I was so we were, me and Lise were when we were going over, we we're uh, looking at what we have written down for this podcast. I was telling him. I bet I'm not even going to be surprised if it's not even embroidered. If it's just screen printed on that. I'm not going to be surprised. Like, what kind of effort was that? Come on. They couldn't do anything more. I mean, you 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 see the stuff Cause does. You've seen even the collabs that Cause has done. For example, the Jordan 4. You've seen those. You've seen the amount of detail they put into that shoe. And this is what you get out of Supreme doing a collab with him? Come on. I mean, I'm disappointed. Yeah, you feel strongly about this, Jamal. You know what else I feel strongly about? What? Is the water pistol tee. It's super clean, bro. I think yeah, I think it looks nice. There's I, I a few good tees this week. I wish that pistol, the water pistol, was sold. 
That'd be nice. Was 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 gold? Sold, sold. sold. That was sold. Mean, yeah, sold. or like gifted, like in week one. Oh, the actual water pistol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you never have they announced what the week one free gift is? Mm, not that maybe I know of. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I hope so. You know, I'm I, nice. I'm gonna sign up. I'm gonna sign up tomorrow for week one. See if I get the text. Hopefully, I do. So we're also gonna see the Raphael team. I like Raphael's post. I mean, pose. You know, it's very avant garde. Yeah, it's cool. Actually, I don't. Yeah, uh, I don't know if that's how it explains <laughs> it, but we'll go with it. <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're also gonna have the the cause chalk logo skateboard. It's the same vibe as the hooded sweatshirt. I don't know what's going on with Cause. Cause, what are you doing, bro? What would are you, you blame, doing? What, would you blame Cause or would you blame Supreme for this one? Well, it is a collab, don't you think? So they they, they need to have like uh, feedback. How much fr- well, how much freedom did they give him? I guess is the real question. That's, like, that's is this a, is this a Kanye situation with Nike that Nike didn't give enough freedom, and Supreme isn't giving enough giving enough freedom to Cause? I don't know. If this is what Cause came up with, and I'm disappointed in you. You could have done better than this. But hey, it's a bogo at the end of the day. Go for it no matter what. It's a bogo. There's nothing wrong. Like, you can't go wrong with getting even, it. Even though bogo prices have been dropping. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Even the cross bogo is still going for like 450 Yeah, so, like, that's you, a nice... No matter what, you double in your money. That's a nice meal at Catch LA. I yeah. wouldn't know about that kind of stuff. I'll or Nobu. Yeah, I'll, uh, I don't know about that kind of stuff. You, oh, you're on a different level. Come on, Jamal. Once you're out in LA, bro, all right. changing the game, bro. We're changing the game. All right. Drop time budget going up, up. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, so it's a uh, solid Thursday, you know. Supreme, uh, Supreme Thursday is back. Everybody loves Supreme Thursdays. Well, I have a question for you, if you don't yeah. mind. What's your uh, question? What do you think about all the, the bags for this season? Bags are good, bro. They're good? It's another. It's an, well. I'm, they got like they got some different colorways I've never seen before. I've never seen this tan and blue colorway. Well, bags are super slept on, bro. Like a lot of people just buy bags and they just the bags move. They move quick. Yeah, that's what you were telling me last last season. I got a few bags. And they but, moved, right? Well, what do you? Uh, I've yet to sell them. I'm still waiting for that to come true. But sure. <laughs> but what do you think? What do you think about the tan and the blue colors? <laughs> I'm with it, bro. Like I'm, I'm all for creativity and positivity and changes, man. Do so you think all of the colors for these bags are good? Is that oh, they're all saying? good, man. They're all good. All good right. vibes, bro. All right, I'll go hard for all of them, and I guess. Yeah, they're all good. There's obviously some better than others. Of but so, what do you think? Do you? I would probably say the camo is the best, and then the black, and then the black, tan. purple, purple. Red. No, there's straight up four colors. What are you talking about? Are you looking like at this? Are you even looking at the thing? I'm not looking at it, but I'm talking about past collections. No, I'm talking about these specifically that are dropping, like this for this season. There's a black, there's a red camo, a tan, and a blue. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. These are going off. There's yeah, purple's good, orange is good. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. I'm looking. All right, look, I'm looking. looking deep, looking deep, deep. He's looking in the deep into the future of the reseller. Here, bags. I can send you a picture if you need. Bro, these are dope. All right, that's why I'm, I'm not a fan. Ask. I'm not a fan of any of them besides the black and the blue one. Oh, so not even the, the camo's not even that good. No, I don't like the camo. All right, so the black and the blue are the ones. Oh, I, I guess you can say and the the brown one, the tan one, it's yeah. cool in, in like the the, the satchel. The oh, satchel the, one is cool. Uh, the waist bag, the cross, the cross body, the cross body, oh, and the okay. waist. And I like the I like the camo. I like the camo in the waist bag. Okay. Yeah, I like the camo in the waist bag, but I feel like the camo might do good in the duffel bag. You know, you should buy that Vanson bag. The who? The Vanson one. What are you talking about? Where's the... I, I'll send it to you right now. You can look at it. Is that dropping week one? Uh, no, it's not. Vanson Let me bag? see. 
Let me see. Let me see. I'll send it to you. Look, look at it. I just sent it to you. All right. I'm waiting. Is this something I have already dropped? No. This looks like a. This looks like a. I deemed it to you. It looks like a. A laptop bag. Yeah, I kind of see you wearing that to like the grocery store. Why would I carry my laptop to the grocery store? Bro. Because drop time. That's why. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. We'll watch. We'll, we'll watch for that to come out, and I'll see you about getting that. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> Thursday is gonna be chill. You know, Supreme Week one, Supreme Thursdays, Friday. Man, it's another busy one. So Man. to kick off Friday, we will first see the women's Air Jordan One Silver Toe. This will drop in the U.S. Don't sleep on them. Retail one seventy. Re sell two twenty three fifty. Probably that 350 price is going to come down a bit. That's just what it is right now. But it's a nice colorway. Don't sleep on it. Go for it. Make sure you go for it. I want everybody to be entering on sneakers. As always, the least you could, like the, the at minimum, the, the simplest thing you can do is enter on sneakers. I don't care how many times you've lost on sneakers. That's the least you can do. But we will also see the women's Nike Air Max 90 Valentine's Day. So these got delayed in the U.S. They will drop on sneakers. Uh, there was a good amount of retailers uh, also drop or sorry, also delayed. Uh, I would expect that they would follow suit with Nike and drop on the 19th. But we'll have to wait and see. You have to watch for our updates on Twitter. But retail 150 resale right now is in 190 250. If they stay hard to get. Probably that price not going to change much. I mean, a good amount of places like Europe has already released them. A good amount of places that are getting them has already dropped them. So there's not too much left to drop them. So if you want those, make sure you are trying to go for them because this is going to be your last chance. And then we will also see the Nike Women's Dunk Low Orange Pearl. So this is a few other retailers I have already seen are going to be dropping these. I think if I remember correctly, it was mostly Europe focused. Uh, but again, make sure you're watching. And like Luis always says, always look out for uh, a reshipper because you know sometimes there's stuff you can't get in the U.S. This might be one of them. It might be a while until we see these drop in the U.S. And even if we see them drop in the U.S., I honestly don't think there's going to be that many places dropping them. So retail 100, resale right now is in 220 to 300. So yeah, the reshipper is not looking too bad considering you only pay an extra like 40, 50 dollars to get that there uh there's still a few other drop there's still another drop on friday before we move on to saturday what is the last thing we see on friday louise so on friday we have the nike dunk low medium carry it's going to release on sneakers eu and other eu retailers resell i mean resell <laughs> retail is 110 approximate resale is 250 or 350 it's gonna be sick you know what i'm saying yeah medium curry what a what a name for a colorway yeah then they did the dark curry for the high they out here it's, eating all the curries. Dude, I love eating curry, dude. Yeah, you can't go wrong with curry. You got a nice curry on a on a cold day. Ooh. There's a place wrong. There's a place near my house that just opened. I haven't gone there, but they told me it's really good. It's a it's a curry spot. Alright, so I guess we have to go to no Nobu. We have to go to there and whatever other spot you said. <sighs> now we can just we 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 gotta get we gotta get, got our budget up high in all these places dude it's it's like food is fuel bro and drop time is has that's the true. best that's true food is fuel that is a good way to look at it and the better the food the better the fuel exactly and the better the podcast is gonna be man that that's the goal so i guess we gotta eat good exactly and that's that's it for friday you know friday we're chill. still not done the week still got stuff in it <laughs> yeah no yeah i'm just saying like friday's chill like that's it for friday dude like yeah, Friday's kind of relaxing. Not too bad. It's like one of those other than what is it, Tuesday? That's the easiest day of the week. Oh my god, man. <sighs> but we'll see. There's still a few things on Saturday. What are the first few things we see drop on Saturday, Luis? So on Saturday we have the Air Jordan 3 cool gray come out. It's gonna come out on sneakers. And other retailers I usually get Jordan, so you know. Foot Locker, Finish Line, Kith, Hibbit, Shop Nice Kicks, Shoe Palace, and whatnot. Uh, retail 190 approximate resale 220 250 cool gray you know that's a that's a very classic colorway i have a f I, ha I have i have not high hopes i have i have i have a, a decent expectation on them to do decent i mean we've seen we've seen what was the, the what's the colorway called you know the the 
Jordan 3 that's like a, a yellow. It's like white and it has yellow dropped a while back. Jordan 3 that's white uh, and yellow. Was it, was it University Gold? Is that what it was called? University uh, Gold was at 13, I think. No, there was there was that women. There was the women's Jordan 3. I don't remember. Let me see what it was called. I'll just pretend I know I do. I remember. No, so, I have to, oh, Laser Orange. The Laser Orange laser. ones. Remember those? Oh, yeah, I remember. So those... They did, they, 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 uh, they're doing good numbers. I mean, most sizes, I'm looking at them right now, most, is, most sizes selling like 250 You get up to the big sizes, they go up to all the way to $300. I bet you go to some, like, you go other places other than the standard, uh, resale sites, probably you get over $300, honestly. So if these, if these end up being like the laser orange were, there's a chance that you can be making some nice money on them. So I don't know. Like I wouldn't say sleep on them. I know people, not everybody likes a Jordan 3, but might be end up being a good one. The good ones are the best ones. You know what's really good? The Ivy Park Adidas collection. Who, like, what is Ivy Park? You know, some people and I might not recognize Ivy Park. Ivy Park is Beyonce's collection. So this is going to release everywhere where there's Adidas stuff. So yeah, that's pretty, pretty much, much everywhere. Yeah, I, but are you gonna this cover is, this, Jamal? Like yeah, extensively. Cover this. Uh, like extensively, you, extensively. Like, uh, how extensive? What do you What do you mean? I don't know. I never go halfway. I always go all the way. Well, that's that right there, and that's that's all we're gonna talk about. Ivy Park. So yeah, we you don't want to more... talk about it. You don't even want to go in detail. <laughs> is it because I had to tell you what Ivy Park was? Hey, Jamal, don't be telling people that. Don't be telling people that. But anyways, so this is going to be their winter collection. They're they're nicknaming it Icy. I'm going to go into it. I don't care. They're nicknaming it Icy Park. So it's going to be a very, it's going to be a white themed everything. So like the last one, uh, the shoes were black. Like the Ultra Boost were black. The Super Sleeks were black. This is going to be white. So it's going to be white Ultra Boost. Uh, Super Sleeks are going to be white. Uh, all the clothing is going to be focused on white and like neutral colors. Uh, uh, honestly, super sleeks, like the Ultra Boost, kind of have some resale, but the super sleeks for sure. For the pat, like they've they've done it twice already, so they've had two collections already, and both times, super sleeks were making some nice nice money. So honestly, I might I, I those might be worth getting. Uh, it's a white shoe, white usually white shoes do pretty good, so. I wouldn't fully sleep on this collection. Maybe the rest of the collection, but the Super Sleeks and the Ultra Boost specifically, I might, I might want to look at getting them. Anyways, now to move on from that, since Luis didn't want to talk about it. The last thing we will see from this busy, busy, busy week is the Nike Overbreak Fossil or Mars Yard colorway, whatever you want to call it. Some people call it the Mars Yard because they look like Mars Yards. Uh, these are going to be dropping in Europe. We'll see if they drop anywhere else. Wait, is it Europe? Or I have to see our my research today was bad i guess <laughs> i or there's just too many things to try to remember everything uh i'm pretty sure it's europe i have to let me confirm with you guys real quick all right so the shoes are going to retail approximately for 140 approximate resale is 300 600 dollars it's 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 pretty wide range right there one of the things i like about this shoe are the colors because they look like a mars yard <laughs> yeah bro it's, they're loud, bro. They're think, loud. Yeah, I think that's why they're going for that three to six hundred dollars. Uh, yeah. So it's Europe. It's nothing so far yet set for the U.S. So hey, like Luis, like we've already covered. I think we've talked about it twice. This is the third time's the charm. Like Luis says, look for the reshippers. So if, you might not have a chance for a while to get these in the U.S. So it might be worth using a reshipper to get them on sneakers EU. So. Definitely think about that. Put that into consideration into the things that you do this week. But that is the last drop of this busy, busy, busy week. It's crazy. Uh, too many things happening. I don't know. Luis, I'm telling you, Nike stock, I think, is going through the roof. That that will remain to be seen. But that sets the end of this week for the podcast. Thank you for joining us once again for Drop Time Podcast. You know, it's... We, we try to our best to give our best. We try our best to give our best. How does that sound? That, that, that's, a, that's a good way to put it. Like, it's the food. The, the better the food, the better the fuel. We try our best to give our best. 
That's all yeah. you can expect. And all we can expect out of you is to make sure to follow us. You can follow us on Twitter, on Instagram. You can subscribe to us on YouTube. You can listen to this podcast everywhere you get your podcasts, such as YouTube, as Spotify, as Apple Podcasts, and elsewhere. And make sure you got those post notifications on. That is the key to the success. The key to your success is to have those post notifications on. Without those, don't expect anything. That's the people that are coming through and saying late. But we're going to go with they're late, not us. They're late. But you got those notifications on? That's not a problem. You know exactly when things are dropping and where they're dropping. And you have the best chance of success. And to continue with success, hey, if you hit on some stuff, just send out a nice tweet of your success. We want to see who's copping, what you're copping, how much you're copping, all that kind of stuff. Because that's why we're here. We're here to help you. We are here to help you get the shoes that you want at retail. So you don't have to go pay and resell. So then you have the chance to even resell and make some nice profits. So make sure to do all this stuff. And all you can hope for is success. We're using success a lot. This, this podcast success, all you can find is success in the future. If you're just following the rules that we have from this podcast and share this podcast to anybody that you think might need some help trying to get into resale is already a reseller, but it's another resource to help them hit all of these shoes because you already know it's going to be a crazy week and expect this rest of the year to be filled with nike uh, i'm waiting for adidas to come back but you know that's how it is nike nike all the way so far thank you for listening to drop time the proclaimed number one podcast that covers the latest security releases on behalf of the drive time team we wish you good luck good health and good vibes all around peace